Hello, my dear students. Welcome to the subject of statistics, class 12th English medium, part 2, chapter 5, differentiation, presented to you by Vitans. Before we move forward, let us remember the last two proofs which we did. When fx is x raised to n, its differentiated value will be nx raised to n minus 1. Means the power n should be brought into the multiplication and then 1 should be deducted from the power. Just remember this system. And when fx is a constant value, its answer, its derivative will be 0. These two proofs these two standards you have to remember okay because it will be very useful for what we are going to do next now some of the standard working rules for calculating differentiation we are going to study there are four working rules for differentiation and among them the first two we are going to study in today's video rule number one additions and subtractions okay so when in our question the functions are such that uh, they are getting added or they are getting subtracted so at that time to find our derivative we will find individual differentiations and then we will add them or subtract them okay so to get a complete different, uh, differentiated value, we just need to add the separated values or deduct the uh, separated values as they are. We will take two illustrations to under, understand this. The illustration 7, we have to find dy upon dx, that is the derivative value for y is equal to x raised to 4 minus 3x raised to 2 plus 2x minus 3. So I think you are getting my point here that uh, there are four distinct values which we need to find differentiation of and then we will add them or subtract them uh, according to the signs given in the question. Okay, so what we are going to do, we are going to start by writing down our equation here dy upon dx. Now here y is the equation. So, f dash x is equal to d upon dx and the y has been written as the whole equation. Now, what I am going to do is uh, I am going to write down this d upon dx individually for all the values here. So, it will be like this d upon dx into x raised to 4 minus 3. The constant I will be taking outside because I don't differentiate the constant. I just differentiate the, we just have to differentiate the x values here. Uh, 3 into d upon dx x raised to 2 plus 2 into d upon dx into x minus d upon dx into 3 because this is just a constant. So, I have to take it into consideration. Okay. Now, we know our formula. First one is x raised to 4. So, 4 will come into multiplication and in the power it will be 4 minus 1. The second is x raised to 2. So, 2 will come into multiplication and power will be 2 minus 1. Third one is just x and we know from the previous tutorial that just x derivative is 1. Fourth one is 3. It's a constant. So, constant derivative is 0. So, by that method, we will be doing the sum here. See the first one 4 has come into multiplication and the power is 4 minus 1. In the second value 2 has come into multiplication and power is 2 minus 1. In the third one we have just taken 1 and in the fourth one 3 has become 0. Now we will open the brackets so we will be multiplying them with the constants uh, which we already had before. So the final answer will be 4x cube minus 3 into 2x to raised to 2 minus 1 is just 1 so it's okay even if we don't write it and plus 2 into 1 2. 0 we don't need to write. So, the derivative for the given question is 4x cube minus 6x plus 2. You have to take into consideration each and every value separately and then solve its differentiation and then add them or subtract them as it is given in the question. 
we will take one more example illustration to understand it better this one is a might seem tricky but what we are going to do as it is given in the question x cube plus root x minus 4 upon x plus 1 upon cube root x plus 1 upon 4 now whatever x are given in the division i will bring them into the multiplication by changing their powers now remember them that wherever x are in the division and when we bring them in the multiplication their powers become negative these are some of the basic concepts which we have already studied in the elementary standards uh, but i will be showing them once again first one is x cube it is kept as it is second one is root x now root x when i want to convert the root into power it becomes 1 upon 2 okay it's a root uh, if it is just to power 2 it becomes square and when it is in the division power then it becomes root so x raised to 1 upon 2 makes it root x next one 4 upon x becomes 4 into x raised to negative 1 because i am changing my power from positive to negative so it is a division value so when i convert the division of x into the numerator its power becomes negative then comes 1 upon cube root x now first of all it's a cube root so when i convert it into my power it becomes 1 upon 3 and it is in the division so when i bring it in the numerator it becomes negative 1 upon 3 so 1 upon cube root x becomes x raised to negative 1 upon 3 and the last one is just a constant value so i haven't changed its de uh, denominator because uh, it is not x it will be 0 in the end now we will be putting our dy upon dx into the equation here i have just written d upon dx and then put the whole equation as it is next I will be taking those d upon dx is separately for each and every value given here. It is a bit long than what we have expected but we, we will solve it one by one in a system so that we can understand it better. Now first is the x cube. What is the rule of differentiation? 3 will come into the multiplication and the power will be 3 minus 1 second one is x raised to 1 upon 2 1 upon 2 will come into multiplication and then it will be deducted by 1 next is x raised to negative 1 negative 1 will come into multiplication and then again 1 will be deducted from negative 1 i will show you that step here then x raised to negative 1 upon 3 so negative 1 upon 3 will come into multiplication and then it will be deducted by 1 last one is a constant so it will automatically become zero so what i have just explained now looks like this 3x raised to 3 minus 1 then 1 upon 2x raised to 1 upon 2 minus 1 negative 4 into negative 1x raised to negative 1 minus 1 then negative 1 upon 3x raised to negative 1 upon 3 minus 1 plus 0 so when we solve these things uh, 3x raised to 2 then plus 1 upon 2x raised to half minus 1 is negative half so 1 upon 2x raised to negative 1 upon 2 plus 4x raised to negative 2 minus 1 upon 3x raised to negative 4 upon 3 negative 1 upon 3 minus 1 we have to take the lcm for that so it will become negative 4 upon 3 and 0 we are not going to write so that's how we are going to solve this one now we will move forward to the rule number two it is based on multiplication yes first comes addition subtraction then comes multiplication if y is u multiplied by v that means two separate equations are being multiplied then the answer we will find will be dy upon dx is equal to u into dv upon dx plus v into du upon dx that means we need u and v along with their separate differentiations here the value of u is multiplied with the differentiation of v and v is multiplied with the differentiation of u so it is kind of like a cross multiplication here 
we will take some illustrations to understand it further illustration 9 if y y is 2x square plus 3 multiplied by 3x minus 2 then find derivative of y with respect to x okay so as you can see here 2x square plus 3 is the first value 3x minus 2 is the second value and we need to multiply these two values these two values are already in the multiplication we need to find its derivative so what we are going to do first the first one i am going to assume that it is u and the second one i am going to assume that it is v okay so 2x square plus 3 will be u and uh, 3x minus 2 will be v now i will find the separate differentiations here as you can see the first one is uh, du upon dx that means 2x square will be 2 come into multiplication and uh, that will be 4x and 3 is just a 3 so its differentiation will be 0 second one is 3x minus 2 so x becomes 1 so 3 into 1 and minus 2 2 becomes 0 so it's just 3 now you have to think like that you can't always put uh, that uh, d upon dx value for each and every individual values and then solve them one by one sometimes when you get this multiplication type of questions you have to solve it directly so 2x square plus 3 becomes just 4x and 3x minus 2 becomes just 3 now we will put it into our original question uh, the formula here is dy upon dx is equal to u multiplied by dv upon dx plus v multiplied by du upon dx we have to cross multiply them that means we will put u with dv upon dx that is 3 and v in with du upon dx that is 4x, 4x. so 2x square plus 3 multiplied by 3 plus 3x minus 2 multiplied by 4x so 2x square plus 3 will be multiplied by 3 that will be 6x square plus 9 and 3x minus 2 multiplied by 4 will be 12x square minus 8x I will remove the brackets now so 6x square plus 9 plus 12x square minus 8x so 6x square plus 12x square becomes 18x square minus 8x plus 9 so this will be the derivative value for the given multiplication question so 2x square plus 3 into 3x minus 2 gives us the answer 18x square minus 8x plus 9 yeah the second method of doing this is that you can multiply our question itself to get a simple equation and then you can use additive subtractive model uh, to solve the answer but uh, there are many methods of solving a single kind of question so it's not that difficult okay one more question i will be giving on my own so that you can understand it still better y is 4x square minus 1 into x plus 5 this is again a multiplication model which i am giving you guys here the first one is assumed as u the second one is assumed as v so u will be 4x square minus 1 and uh, v will be x plus 5 now as you can see here du upon dx that is 4x square the 2 will come into multiplication that will get us 2 into 4 8x while x plus 5 x, x is just 1 and plus 5 is 0 so dv upon dx will be just 1 so du upon dx is 8x and dv upon dx is 1 what we are going to do we are going to write down the equation question equation here dy upon dx is u into dv upon dx plus v into du upon dx now we will put down the question and the differentiations which we have found individually here so u will be multiplied with 1 and v will be multiplied with 8x we will multiply these values here first one will be as it is because it's just a 1 second one multiplied with 8x so x into 8x is 8x square and 5 into 8x is 40x we will remove the brackets from the given question 4x square and 8x square will become 12x square plus 40x minus 1 so this is your answer for the derivative of the given question next time we will solve and we will understand with illustrations the remaining two working rules of finding differentiation till then see you soon and stay tuned